Okay, so this is the Andor 10 inch photo frame, but it's actually so much more than a photo frame, and I'll take you through all the uh, the bits and pieces that it can do. Um, just to show you, this is what it's replacing. This is a, a Sony photo frame that we've had for quite a few years, and that's a 7 inch. And the resolution on this isn't as good as what's on the new Andor. Uh, processor's slower on it, so it's a bit jerky. And we wanted a bigger screen at the end of the day, so let's get rid of that. Just take you through the connections on here. So if I take out the USB stick and take out the SSD card, which are options that you've got for putting um, for putting files on there. First of all, we've got the power source, which is plugged in via a three pin plug. You've got a HD connector. Let's bring it up. So you've got a HD connector there. You've got your USB connector and you've got your SD card. So let's pop the SD card in. There we go. And that's just a straight transfer over from the um, from the Sony that one, and then obviously a USB stick. I'm just going to pop that in. You can use both. You can use uh, one or the other. You're not you're not tied to having two in, but it just so happens that I've got different things on there. Right. Let's um, let's go back to the menu. So there's the menu. Just just one thing you can see from the different angles. It's got a good screen on it. You can see it from different angles without without it going black. Right, okay, so remote control and you can go into photos, music, movie. Um, you've got a mute button up on the top. This is your, your play or your fast forward or your, your uh, acceptance. You're on off, you set up, volume uh, and back to the menu. Right, so if we're looking at the menu there, you've got photos, music, movie, calendar, and setup. Just quickly flip over to setup and see what you can do. You can change the language. You can um, have it auto play in movies once something's in there. Repeat, you can have your slideshow. So on here, we've got it to, oops, you got it set to 10 seconds. If we come down, the clock's all set up, which is good for when you've got it automatically um, turning off. Uh, if we're going to display mode, you've got auto, fit, panorama. You can change the brightness and the saturation, etc. Uh, and there's the auto power. You see that I've got the auto power on there. And I've got it coming on at 6 o'clock in the morning and going off at 10.30 at night. Um, in fact, I need to reset that. It's not 10.30 at night. That's 10.30 in the morning because it's a 24-hour clock. So let's just go down to that. So it needs to be uh, 22. Right, so now that will be set, will be going off at 10.30 at night. Right, and if we come back, we'll go across to photos, pressing click, because I've got two storage media in there, I've got a USB stick and a micro SD card. Uh, you can choose which one to use. So let's go into the USB stick first. Shows all the files there, and if you just click OK again, Sorry, if you just click play, we'll get there, yeah. All right, so that's the USB stick. And it's set up to scroll every 10 seconds. So there should be one coming up now. There you go. Or you can use your, um, you can use your remote control to just go on to the next one, find out which the thing is. And so as you can see, it's automatic. So as you can see, it's automatically rotating through the pictures that are in there. Um, if I come out of there, you can... You can turn the auto play off or have it set to whichever 
you want to auto play when when it switches on. Um, I'm going to just turn the auto play off though. Come out of there, go back. Right. Surprisingly, for such a small device, it actually packs uh, a fair bit of power when it comes to the volume. Now, I think the reason for this is, so as you can see, you've got this which helps it stand up, yeah, and it also helps it, stand, it also helps it stand up when you've got it in portrait mode like that. But if you were to take that off, you've got your visa bracket screws there which means that you can use this for um, for an advertising uh, television in a store, for example. You've got all your controls on the back, so you don't need the remote control. But you've got a nice speaker on there because if you're playing any, um, any adverts in a store, so I've got a couple of off-licenses, for example, um, and this is going to come in useful on that. If you go across to Movie, click on that. Uh, it's on the USB stick. It's there. Let's have that playing. Destination unknown, unknown, unknown. I'll just pause that for a second while I go through. Uh, you should have picked that up. If you are a customer walking past a fixture or anything, you will definitely hear that. You will hear anything that's being send, said on the advert. Um, if, as this particular one is going to be, it's on our work surface in the kitchen, then you've got good audio. It's not something you'd play all your music on, but you've got good audio. And if we come back out of that, for example, and go to music. Uh, again, I've got something on the USB stick. So we've got Rizzle Kicks there. Uh, take the mute off. And play. Now, I'm going to mute it again just so that I can talk, but you've also got a volume control. That wasn't up to the full uh, mark. Right? So, as you can see, that was only half up on the volume. Now we're up to full, and, um, and I'll switch it back on so you can hear it one more time. So you haven't got any bass, but you can you can hear it easily. Right, let's come back out of there because there's something else that I want to show you. One thing that I really like with this is the calendar. So if you go into the calendar, if you've got it set up, it tells you the day, the time and everything else, yeah? But you've also got your pictures uh, scrolling in the background. So it's your photo frame with a calendar, just sat wherever you want to put it. So all in all, if we just go, go through it again, it's a 10.1 inch screen, visible from pretty much any angle. You've got um, USB, SSD, and HD. There's your power source, obviously. This screws off if you want to mount it on a wall, but it's used for portrait or landscape mode. You can also just pop a screw in the wall instead of having to use the visa brackets and just hang it on the screw. Again, you've got all your controls at the back there, or you can use a remote control. So when all said and done, for under £60 for a 10.1 inch display, I know that the Sony was so much more than that at the time. Um, I'm really impressed with this and it's a definite recommendation.